What's going on, my kids? It's your favorite Drake Tail Box Box. They come back at you with a brand new episode of The Sims 2 Mall 621, Planning the Interior. And in today's brand new episode, we are doing as the title of the episode implies. We are planning the interior out here. Now, obviously, I don't get the entire interior plans done. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm kind of like, you know, setting up some of the, um, what was it again, kiosks out here. And if you're wondering why we don't get the entire interior plans done, it's because I need to build that interior signage for the anchor store still. And then on top of that too, um, we ran out of store spaces. I'm actually not kidding. That actually happened. We ran out of store spaces. So I am currently taking suggestions right now. I might actually add a few things in there too. But yeah, I'm going to have to custom make some more wallpapers and everything like that. So yeah, that's going to be absolutely fun to do. But right now, we're currently working on the hallways and everything like that. I might actually change the way that I structure this now that I think about it to, um, what was it again? Focus on individual shops first so that I can make it look a little bit nicer in the long haul because some of the shops that I put in there are not actual mall shops now that I think about it. Bear in mind that when I recorded this episode, I was horribly sleep deprived. I've been up all night. I might even re-record this entire commentary because in the original cut, I believe I was like horribly sleep deprived from that too. And I was actually even originally planning on coming live that day. Yeah, um, not a great move on my front. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. Not really a great move on my front. But right now we got these little um, plants going up over here. We got a few um, couches too, which I gotta say look pretty good right about now. I mean, it is Sims 2. You can, you can get it to only look so good without having to use... There's actually a command that I probably could have used to... Um, put those couches and those um planties together right there and yes i am no longer sleep deprived i remember to actually get the um i remember to get the femi termini or femi terminology out this time but yeah i, I could have used um set what was it again um bullprop snap objects to grid it's a nightmare for pathfinding but it, it is a really fun command to play around with i'm gonna actually do that a little bit at some point right about now again i was sleep deprived so I was a little bit on the lazy side out here, and I do want to apologize for that, because, um, my god, I just realized how, how interesting this can end up turning out. But anyways, right now, we already got a few other things going down. We're also adding some of the lights out here, which I think are absolutely good. And in the next episode, we are going to begin our first few shops out here, too, so that is going to be really nice. Although, I'm probably off camera going to reset most of the, um, wall coverings for the shops out here, too. I feel like that would probably be the right thing to do. And there's also a few other changes of plans that might occur on top as well. I'm not really sure about it yet. You know, there's a few ideas that I've got right now. I might just keep it a one-story mall universally. I know it was teasing the idea of two-story um, shops out here, but being realistic, I don't know if we need it. I don't know if we need to go that far. I mean, even back in, um, what was it again? The um, Full Moon Mall and Moonlight View, I was actually working on that. I believe a couple days ago at the time of recording this, it's currently like 5.23 a.m. at the time of recording on November 3rd. You guys are seeing this. Unless you're a member, you're going to be seeing this on November 9th. And by the way, too, um, yeah, I got some catch-up work to do because, as I said, I was very, <laughs> I greatly underestimated how sick I was yesterday. I slept for like 15 hours straight. So, yeah, I'm definitely way more well-rested now to actually work on this here. But, yeah, if I recall correctly, too, the, um, the Sears and the Dillards, there weren't that much, there weren't that much to them, and the only real anchor store that I could see being, um, two stories would probably end up being the AMC Theaters. I, I might do it for the AMC Theaters, if we're being honest out here. That feels like it would make a lot of sense out here, but right now we got some other shops going up right now. Back over to Mall 621, the mall we're currently working on. We got a KB Toys, we got a GameStop. I'm probably gonna redo that KB Toys sign, if we're being honest, but they... But the um, main row of shops here near the food court, I, I might be willing to keep out here along with the Apple store and the Microsoft store. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. Um, like those actually look like they could be in a US mall out here too. And that is kind of the style that I'm going for. Get a little Dunkin' Donuts out here too. And again, you know, you can kind of see me starting to run dry on ideas. Mayday ice cream will most likely get kept as well too at some point. I might also combine shops too, so bear this in mind too. 31 may not be the final number, it may go down a little bit. I may start combining some shops, which I don't think would be the worst idea in the world. And I just realized we were also missing an arcade too, because a lot of malls, they typically have arcades. Red Wolf will probably keep its location as well. And as I said, Microsoft Store probably will on top. Of course, you know, I was so sleep deprived, I couldn't even place this sign correctly either. 
But it's after this point, I believe, where the mall stores start to become a little bit more questionable. I do know I'm probably going to put like a Starbucks in there. I tried doing that later in the video. It, it didn't really work because I didn't have the right, um, I, what was it again? I didn't really have the right, um, I'm trying to think here, the right amount of space to actually place the sign out here. That's kind of what I was thinking right about now. We got the media market out here. I could have also put down a second Microsoft store, but I'm probably just going to make the media market a little bit larger if we're being realistic out here. I think that probably would be the right idea, same with Techno Market, because they're, they're basically kind of like, you know, in the same industry. They're just in two separate parts of Europe out here. Media Market's a little bit more big in Germany, and I believe Techno Market is big in Eastern Europe. Like, we're talking much further east than um, Germany out here. Like, a little bit closer to Russia, but you're not quite in Russia. I forget exactly what country. I could probably look it up in between episodes out here. Or maybe someone could point it out to me in the um, comments or something like that. But, yeah, we're probably going to make both those shops a little bit larger right about now. I don't think I'm going to be keeping the majority of some of the um, shops that I'm placing right now. Because I'll admit, th this was basically all put down because I ran out of shops to put down. So... Yeah, it's going to be fun. Just, you know, casually running out of shops, partially because I made this mall way too big out here, too. So, again, if you guys have any ideas, go ahead and put them in the comment section below, obviously. Um, I, I strongly recommend it because I really am starting to run dry here. The friendlies over here, though, I'm keeping two stories. I will go ahead and confirm that. I'm confirming the friendlies will remain at two floors. Something about it just, you know... It just feels right to put it at two floors, we're being honest out here. So yeah, we got the friendlies over there. And also, before anyone asks too, yes, these lots, or these, um, a lot of the walls that I'm using are extremely custom made out here too. I actually custom made a good chunk of them using, um, Homecrafter Plus out here. So yeah, that's definitely awesome out here. Maybe I should drink a little bit more of my, um, morning vanilla coke out here, because something, some... I don't want to say what's coming up in the throat right now, but it is definitely something. This typically happens when I just wake up, but again, I'm much more well-rested now, so I'm just getting this done, getting the um, City Skylines 2 video done so I can catch both of those up out here, because again, sick yesterday, so that's going to be fun. But anyways, we're starting to get to the end of the episode right now as I'm starting to officially fully run dry of shops out here. Like, I've actually fully run dry. I'm trying to figure out what to place here, but I just can't. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut the episode off here. If you did go on to enjoy, you know what to do. You had a reminder three minutes in. Another reminder is going to be coming up on the end screen. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye for now and have a great day and night. No matter where in the world you may be.